All right, what's going on guys? This is Owen here. Uh, today we are going to be doing the in Infinite Dragon Ball History Stage 19, taking care of both of the related missions for the stage. Uh, nothing too bad, especially, especially considering when you have uh, the LR Super Saiyan 4 duo as well as the Super Saiyan 4 EZA Goku. Now, what I tried to do was run a Shadow Dragon Saga slash Great 8 Power team, and as a friend support, we did bring the giant uh, form leader or Great 8 Power leader of uh, Tech Majin Vegeta, or not Tech Majin Vegeta, Tech Great 8 Vegeta. Uh, you'll see here, you know, I'm trying to do a little bit of multitasking as I'm doing this, so there is a bit of a slowdown, uh, but I did speed up the gameplay. It was about 21 minutes, so we're just going to run it at double speed, and you know, so it'll be about 10 minutes. Uh, this video, in reality, if I wanted to speed it up, like, uh, it could have been like nine minutes, six minutes, something like that, but uh, you'll see, I I didn't really count the turns, but you'll see, we just get caught on, like, stuck in Vegeta's grade 8 form against Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for so, so long. Like, I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, right? Like, I was like, dude, can we just get out of here so I can win this fight already? And, uh, you know, so that really slowed us down a bit. I made this take, like I said, the gameplay was 21 minutes, it could have been maybe 15, 16, but you'll see, like, I'm just kind of doing a couple things on Discord, I'm on the over on the 5.9 stream and stuff like that, we're just kind of messing around, and I'm like, when is this going to end, right, like, can, can I come on, can we go, like, <laughs> I want to, I want to get to work on this video, so, um, yeah, it was, it was definitely interesting, uh, this is definitely, especially on the global side, will not be bad at all, as you already have the Great A Power, uh, the Giant Ape EZAs, I think it's Goku, Raditz, and Vegeta, there's one of those, right, uh, there's the three EZAs, so you guys have those, we do not, um, not yet, like they're coming, but they're just not out right now. But I wanted to make sure that I got this out quick. So I used a pre-EZA version of Raditz. Um, solid unit, not before his EZA though, so uh, he's just, hide him, don't get us killed. Uh, we'll probably hit the pop a Ghost Usher, him and Tora, it's the same thing, right? Like, obviously the grade 8 power bit of this is super, 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 ooh, super easy, but unfortunately the giant form is not, so... It does make us struggle a little bit, but um, when you have LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku on this team, you put both on a rotation and you let them dominate. You let them work. You let them cook. What was he cooking? This stage, right? That's that's all you got to know. Um, really just puts in a lot of work and helps us get the job done pretty easily. I do end up using, I think, a Whis and a Ghost Usher just to play it safe as there's a lot of attacks that are thrown at Raditz at one point during the fight. So I'm like, okay, let me hide and put Raditz here. Uh, but I uh, I don't think many players, especially on the global side with the EZAs, are going to struggle with this. Now, I know you're going to say, like, oh, I don't have the LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but I do think you can kind of work around that, right? You just put, um, you just run the EZA Super Saiyan 4s, they'll be fine. Like, or not even the EZA Super Saiyan 4s, just the LR Super Saiyan 4s, they'll do just fine in here. Like, they're not going to struggle too bad, right? You put in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in slot 1, let him tank a little bit, let him cook. Then you put the e, uh, LR Super Saiyan 4s in the second slot. Hope that they get their 18 keys so they both raise their defense no matter what. And then you kind of go from there. Uh, nothing too bad, but might take a couple tries. But especially when you have items, because like I said, there's no shame in not doing a no item run for something like this. So just to get the missions, get the stones, get your Kai, get out of the way. Just get over with it, right? Because like who really cares about a no item run in Infinite Dragon Ball history, right? Like I know I don't. Um, obviously, you know, when you're doing like if this whole team was rainbowed, which obviously a good portion of it is, but... Um, I wouldn't sweat it too much, right? <laughs> like, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna lose sleep over not getting the no item run for freaking Infinite Dragon Ball History Stage 19 or anything like that. Maybe I'll come back in the future after the easy A's and I can kind of make this a little bit easier, but for now, I'm good with just getting the video out as is. Um, yeah, I, I went over the, like, the quick little pseudo team building guide, right? Like, you want to link, um, you want to make sure you just have Super Saiyan 4s, uh, in slot 1 on both sides. We have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta here. He obviously just dominates. This is far and away my favorite unit in the game at the moment. Uh, besides AZL UI Goku, as that is my GOAT forever and always at this point. Um, obviously, he's not better than Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or anything like that. But that is my guy. <laughs> I gotta stick up for my guy, you know. So, um, yeah, we're gonna keep going through here. Uh, I think the only time where this really gets tricky is the last phase, personally. Uh, and you'll see here, uh, it'll be interesting to see when we end up getting caught on the never-ending trap of the Super Saiyan, or the Great Ape Vegeta phase, right? Like, you see here, this is when I'm multitasking. <laughs> like, come on, dude, press the OK button. Let's go. Let's get a move on. So it's just like, all right, come on, come on. <laughs> How long is this? Oh, my goodness. I couldn't have been that busy. Come on. All right, uh, I might have to speed this little subsection up, huh? 
<laughs> there we go. Come on, we'll be okay. Okay, so yeah, I think there's two more phases after this one. You can see we're moving. We got the Dokkan attack. We'll probably get through here. And maybe do I one turn this? Maybe I do. Oh yeah, the Dokkan attack here is horrible. You can just tell how distracted I am when I'm doing this run. <laughs> So, cue, cue the Jeopardy music coming up here soon, just with how slow it's taking uh, when we get up to the next phase, right? Like, you'll see how unbelievably long it takes us solely because we're stuck with the Grade 8 Vegeta, right? Like, that's literally the only reason I don't get through it in, like, two turns. Yeah, so right here, obviously, we just go ahead and pop that real quick. No active skills. We save those for the last phase. Just go through it real quick. Go ahead and get our super attacks going, all that fun stuff. Um, this stage in particular... I don't know how many stacking options there are in here. You could run the EZA Super Saiyan 4s rather than the LRs if you have more dupes in them, but personally for me, as you know, if you've been around a while, you've heard me say this, but my account is a little bit on the newer end of things, but I have made up for that aspect a little bit in the financial aspect of things. So uh, when I have a couple Dokkan Fest LRs rainbowed and I only have like EZAs that came out four years ago at 55%, that's why. So here it is, right? Turn 11, I'm pretty sure we were in this phase for like four turns. Like I'm pretty sure it's turn 14 and we're still in it. I'm like, and like I said, I'm over here doing stuff on the 5.9 stream. I'm having all kinds of fun over there. And I just keep looking over like, why am I still in the great eight form? <laughs> like, it's just unbelievable how long this took for no reason whatsoever. So like I said, this is in this, what you're watching is in double speed. So I'm like thinking over here, trying to do a couple things at once. And then all of a sudden I realize I'm like, oh my God, like, we're at <laughs> we're at turn 14 why am i still in this like come on let's get a move on yeah but you'll see right let's let's go ahead and count it it's four or five turns i know that for a fact like we're just in this forever and ever and it never ends <laughs> it wasn't fun okay so this is turn two of this yeah, so let's see this is turn two Oh, no, it's not this one. I think it's the next time. Okay, so that's where I got bamboozled. Okay, I see what happened. I did a couple turns in between, and I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> I just wasn't paying attention, I guess. Yeah, but, um, you know, so you see here, we're in the last phase. Uh, we, we're not struggling too bad at all. Like, it's, it's just like, you know, just in case things get a little dicey. We just pop a Ghost Usher and a Whis real quick or something like that, and we have nothing to worry about. Yeah, so maybe right here, do I try and pop the Whis? <laughs> no, yeah, I pop the Whis because I can't pop a Ghost Usher. Because look, look at all those attacks on the end, right? That's where it got dicey. I was like, ooh, that's a lot of attacks. But obviously, I, I have faith in my guys here that, you know, Raditz will, with a Whis, will be able to tank more than well enough. So, uh, yeah, we shall see. The gameplay is starting to come to a close here. So we're, we're, we're making a move on, right? But this stage, like I said, is not too bad at all. I think what you want to do is <laughs> the the pro strat, right? If you can't beat it now, just wait for the seven year anniversary and you will be able to beat it. I promise. <laughs> like you pull that Super Saiyan 4 duo, you are golden. Or what you could do is you run like if you want to just get the the grade eight power mission done, right? You just run the GT hero team and that's basically a full grade eight power team and you just shred it, right? Especially when you have the... Um, the Super Saiyan 4 duo, when they come out, like they'll just you just run the 200% leader skill and you absolutely shred it. But if you want to get the giant form done, uh, I decided to do the grade 8 power version like this, so it did end up taking a little bit longer. But it's just it's so much easier just to kill two birds with one stone when you're playing this, so I did make sure to do that. Yeah, so I guess I somehow just completely forgot about all the other turns before this one when I was talking about um, all of the time that I spent in the grade 8 transformation. I guess it was right here where I just somehow managed to forget about like the three turns in between, but. Uh, you see here, we do just kind of chip away a little bit, doing our thing. It obviously goes much quicker when it's in two times speed. So, uh, you know, this this took a little bit, but nothing too bad. Obviously, you're seeing this video, so we did manage to get the job done. Uh, yeah, so this is turn two of this. Maybe we go three turns in here or something like that. I don't know. It felt like an eternity, though. I got to be honest. Like, I really felt like I was in here forever on this. Um, but, you know, this team isn't really that fun to use, considering, you know, you just have like three just units that you don't want to see at all almost at all times, right? Like this Great A Vegeta, you don't want. Tora's there for support, so I guess that's cool, but, you know, defensively, he's a nightmare. I'm not really doing anything with him there. But, you know, here we are, getting through it. Uh, 
yeah so this is turn three of this right so this is what i was talking about right so i think we go three turns in here and then we do come out and end up getting the job done with i think like physical super saiyan 4 gogeta something like that like uh, i don't know all i know is that we do end up burning right through it so um that's all i got for you in this video today uh, this was infinite dragon ball history stage 19 uh, rounding out the Saiyan Day 1. Here is the active skill for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and that is all she wrote. So, uh, do not forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on Dokkan content like this, where I try to post as often as I can, and I'm out.